How about some show feedback? Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit this one in case people you know I don't want anyone to think I'm spoiling something. So oh. Bar Bardia twenty seven said, I love the reference. There's a blank in there. All these superhero <laughs> movies have Easter eggs. Doesn't mean that your mind works different or that you can't enjoy a movie because you notice it. What movie are we even talking about? Uh the Spider Man's. Right. Oh, is that part of our spoiler discussion? Uh-huh. Is that, okay. Yeah. So I I thought it was a very good discussion. We got some good positive feedback from it. So I'm glad. Thank you for all. I don't know. Listening, I guess. (laughs) Sure. I don't know. (laughs) I just work here. Uh, Robbie Ray had to say just a common observation. So please don't be offended, Wombat. But I thought it was funny and a little ironic that Wombat was defending himself against criticism about how he criticizes movies. Well, there's constructive criticism, and then there's. Not so constructive criticism. And that just wasn't particularly constructive criticism. Not saying you don't want my, want me to change my opinion to suit your mood is not constructive criticism. And also, you know, I mean, what the complaint was that you never seem to get, you never rave about a movie, I guess. Was that it? Yeah, yeah. Wombat's not very, really like an emotional kind of guy. So, you know, I think it goes in both directions. He's not doesn't cry at the movies and he doesn't... Have a good uh, time. <laughs> <There's an> inch- <laughs> Except for Batman versus Superman. Yeah, I'm just dead inside yeah. because of Batman versus Superman. <laughs> just remember that. Mm-hmm. It killed me. Oh, it, did you just see the new Batmobile was out? They revealed it. Oh, how terrible is that? Three guns, four guns on a Batmobile? It's more than that. Who, well, some who of them looked at the Batmobile some and said, you know what, Batmobile, the Batmobile needs guns? Yeah. The, it I looks so cumbersome to drive, too. It like, looks like it gets gonna be bad mileage. Really bad. The movie's mileage. just going to be bad. It's going to be a bad movie. Like he would just be constantly like pulling over to fill that thing up. Right. It must <laughs> run with, on with, like, with gasoline and bullets. <laughs> right. I mean, think how heavy all those rockets and bullets are going to be. Maybe too. when he shoots the bullets, it produces enough energy. He's to, driving backwards uh, the whole time. To fuel the car. That's how he fuels well, like, the car. Well, just shoots bullets some... out the front to, and it propels it backwards. Well, isn't there a reaction? Yeah, like, your car would go backwards. Yeah. No, but he said Wombat's saying you could harness the uh, maybe like the heat energy. Yeah, from... of the reaction. Right. Shipwreck, get on that. Work out the equations and let us know what his gas mileage is. It's very important. Right. Mm-hmm. I, he's. I'm sure he's powering it with some crystal or something. It's probably <laughs> 93 octane. I'm thinking. He wants you know want. Or that. he could be using a mother box. Maybe that's what he's using. He harnessed dark sides, mother box, something, 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 MacGuffin. Right. If that's the if that's the biggest problem in the movie, it's... a big jar of urine. He powers it with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean grandma's lemonade or whatever the fuck it was? <laughs> yeah, what was that from? What was that? Oh yeah, that's that was a Batman joke. It was Superman. a horrible yeah. joke and fucking yeah. Oh god. Mm-hmm. Before all, all right. What else we got here? Uh, Francium34 said, did some Googling on Chinese and mothballs. I am Chinese and I never heard of this, but apparently discussions on various English forums go back at least 10 years. This is in my reference guess, to my Iceland trip where I said that you yeah, can smell you the Chinese tourists coming because they smell like mothballs. Yes. My best guess is mo- the most common bug repellent ointments in China all have a distinct smell of camphor, which is used in or at least similar to mothballs. So maybe that explains the smell, the smell being more obvious in the summer, in particular on Taurus. It was 50 degrees in Iceland. There were no bugs, really. So it I could don't... have just been a precaution. Uh, well, it says ointments as well. I don't. Every everybody, I don't know. I like my theory where they put their like hiking clothes away in storage with a lot of mothballs. And they only bust it out maybe once a year, or once every few years, hence intense moth- mothball smell. I don't know. It's not really that important. It was just. I'm sure somebody a thing. did do a documentary on it. <laughs> Please, I'll be the first person to watch it. 